Hey, this is Johnny Bean, live, 5.06 p.m. I know you guys can't see me, but you will. December 15th, 2017. There we go. Hey, you guys. Who's in here? Hey, it's Dave. Hey, Dave. Wait, what's happening? How many, Dave, how many Daves do we have here? We only have one. Dave Lucy just texted me. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. He says he's going to have to join us because his phone shut off. Oh, no. All right. All kinds of technical everything. <laughs> yeah, and I'm trying to get the I'm trying to get the post up. So, okay, that's cool. That's cool. Hey, Ben. Ben is here. Mr. B H B. Is that Bruce? Pascal, Michael Bishop. I know my 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 camera's off. Dave split. <laughs> it's all good. It's Friday. Enjoy the music. Oh, there he is. Dave. Hey. Other Dave. Yeah. How you, How you doing, man? Both Daves. A whole bunch of Daves. <laughs> all Dave. All the time. All Dave, all night. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Dave yeah. TV. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, my camera is off for the, the time being here, but but it's not about me. It's always about you, Johnny. It's about you guys. Douglas. Hey. Michael Bishop. Awesome. There we go. All right, yeah, sorry. My camera has to be off for uh, a little while, but what's new, you guys? Body guitars. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah more than i need more guitars than i need I well gotta get rid of a handful according to that picture that you sent me man that's wow very cool i think it's pretty darn cool yeah <laughs> hey john bl 5150 hey man clayton today is frankenstrat friday clayton that's right man yeah can you guys see the the, the chat I can see it. Cool. Cool. Friday. Yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. Friday, Friday, Friday. <laughs> 22 yeah. people watching. Awesome. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. So what's what's the latest, Nezdal, since, since I saw you uh, yesterday? <laughs> well, my insides have been uh, cleaned. Uh huh. Um, Michael Smith sent me a a Wolfgang that I think you know. Before I put it on here, would you do you mind if I show it? No, I don't care. You don't care. It's uh, it's all cleaned Ooh. up. But Johnny Bean, you know this one very well. I even took the sticker off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that was mine. That was my Wolfgang that I uh, sold to somebody to help uh, fix my uh, my ride. Wow, I've I've never seen that guitar look that clean. Yeah, it's clean. I even cleaned the Floyd. The Floyd looks like in brand new condition. Ooh, I got two of those. Awesome. And I, I ordered a uh, uh, big brass block from Adam Reaver today for that Floyd as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, that'll probably be in probably be here Tuesday or so. And I'll put it together and send it back out. And I got a gift. Well, Desiree and I got a gift from Michael Smith. This uh, R2-D2 D2, R2 unit that actually... Comes alive. Check this out. Oh, you know what? Probably not a good idea to put it on, right? <laughs> uh, Will I, we get flagged for that? I for this, for the noises? I. Who knows? Would you rather I don't? Uh, no. Go ahead. 
Go ahead. Okay. Makes me. Uh, what, what is it? Oh, it's R2. remote. It's remote control. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, it's the, the newest thing. They make a BB-8. They make an R2-Q5. I don't know what from, that is. Like, from the latest movie? Oh, I should probably not uh -huh. say. Which is a, it's an all-black version of R2-D2. It, uh, it debuts in the, in the new Star Wars. Mm hmm. <laughs> what happened to the, yeah. the spoiler free? Uh... <laughs> well, yeah, no spoilers. Come I'm on. Not, I'm not saying any spoilers. Oh. <laughs> Did you... No spoilers. I'm assuming neither of you have seen it yet. I haven't seen it. No. I saw I saw it last night. Yeah. Oh, you saw it. Oh, uh oh. I have seen it. Yeah. Oh, I... so you saw you saw R2 Q8, Q5, Q17, whatever the hell his name is. The all black R2? I think so. Yeah. I think so. Mm -hmm. Wasn't a huge part of the film, but I think it was there. And I think there's a BB nine, you know, like a black BB eight. Yep. yep. I remember that one more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Fun movie. I enjoyed it. Michael Smith is here. Go and see it. Cool. Yeah. I don't know when I'm gonna see it, but uh hopefully soon. Brent Z Rocks, hey man. Oh, Michael Smith is here? Michael Smith is here. Michael, did you see that I uh did you see the uh the guitar? Because I just showed it. Seven oh eight with the wrenches here. Hey man. Cool. Here I am. <laughs> Finally. About time. We got, we got ten wolf gangs to go through when we're ready. Yeah. Oh, I don't man. know where we should start. Maybe start with the one I'm holding. Absolutely. Maybe, oh, should we go chronologically from what he used up till now? You know, maybe you should just decide that for us since they're yours. Yeah. You might, I might need help on the chronological part, but I think we can do it. Okay. Am I off to a good start? Or is this... <laughs> it was a 50-50 shot. I can't remember which came first. Well, that's pretty darn cool. It's close enough. This is my shark. It is a hardtail Chinese Wolfgang special with a custom Musicraft rosewood fretboard neck with golden chrome tuners on the headstock. Got a kill switch on the top horn, three-way switch on the bottom horn, two 59 replica pickups in a great classic rock machine i'm a big fan i play this a lot that's an awesome guitar yeah um, yeah that, that looks yeah, great the back, man. the back is painted of course the back of the neck how could you not do a shark and not paint the back of the neck wow yeah john bl5150 that's dave lucy <laughs> that's right yeah yeah dave's been on with us a couple times yeah at, le at least at least yeah it's, it's been a it's been a year, but a few times. <laughs> <laughs> no hard feelings. I've been busy. We're okay. <laughs> yeah, you've been bu busy building guitars. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Man. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah, that looks great. So you, so you said that's a, a, a Chinese? Is it, is it a Chinese the, special? The body is a Chinese special. Mm -hmm. Um. The bridge and tailpiece in the pots are original, and that's it. Pickups are 59 replicas and a custom rosewood neck, because you can't get rosewood on any of the Wolfgangs, except the Indonesian Stealth. Is that correct? Uh, Didn't they do a small run of those, I think? Kind of like, like on the standard? Nezal, do you know? Do you guys remember? I'm not as familiar with the standard line as the specials. I know everything about the specials, but nothing on the standards. Um, they had like a stealth run. 
Um, you know, I, 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 I don't even know anymore. I can't, I, I can't, I can't think of a, a, a rosewood on a standard. It was a, yeah, that, yeah, I don't know. Nope. There are, there are no rosewood boards on standards as far as I know. Maybe I was wrong. I could have sworn like a year or two ago. I saw like a, uh, I think it wasn't even on your channel, Johnny. I don't know. Maybe, maybe my memory is just faulty. <laughs> but I, I could have sworn seeing like a black rosewood fretboard, dark rosewood, trying to be like a spell. Oh, um, well, yeah, maybe. Well, standard? Yeah. It was a standard, yeah. Not a special. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Let's move on to, I think I'm going to go to skip, skip a little bit. Also used on the first album as a tribute guitar, but used recently on a tour a couple of years ago. I think you guys can probably guess what that is. I got to put my headphones down real quick. Mm -hmm. Which, which one do you think that is? Uh, probably the black with the, uh, the white with the black stripes. Dave said it's the black one with the white stripes. Yeah, that too. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. Uh-oh. Oh. You got it. You got it. You got it right. I'm a big fan of this one. Um, I have to replace the sustainer circuit board on it because I feel like I botched it when I was doing the install the first time. Right. And after just trying to repair it and repair it again, I feel like it just keeps getting worse and more inconsistent. But mm. that's just a quick replacement I can drop in and get it right this time because now I know what I'm doing. So you you've done that yourself? Yeah, I did that one myself. I I took it upon myself to do that and that's how I messed up the first time. Wow. But it, it worked. It works and if I keep it very still in one position. And then mm -hmm. it just starts being fussy and hissing at me. And I'm like, no, play nice. It, it doesn't get along with me all the time. <laughs> so that's just going to get replaced. Um, I really like this one when the sustainer is working. This is a uh, PV special body. Uh, that was just a tobacco special. And it has a Chinese Wolfgang. Yeah, Chinese Wolfgang stealth neck. Mm -hmm. So it's got the small stainless steel frets, very, very comfortable, and the kill switch, of course. And I put black hardware on this because I swapped the trim that I had onto my USA Stealth, I believe, mm -hmm. when I got that. So this is a, a FR-1000 for me. Cool. Now, all the thin stripes on that, is that tape or is it painted on? Um, I think it's painted on. I think we decided to paint the whole thing instead mm -hmm. of doing cool. tape on the small stripes. Very cool. I mean, I'm not exactly sure what he did on the 2013 either, but this one doesn't have binding. I wish it had binding. Black binding on this would, in an art shop would just be incredible. But I like. Does that? Does binding. Eddie's have binding on it? I believe it does. I believe it has. It might just be painted on binding, but it's black. Mm -hmm. Black with the art shop. But um, I'm happy with this. The PV body is always great. And because of the round edges, it's just comfortable and you don't really catch your hand on it anywhere. You're, you're going to find that I'm going to say that I'm a big fan of every one of the guitars that I bring out. I would imagine you would be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no point keeping them around if I'm not. I, I, if anyone I think, in the chat I think has we all are. questions. Yeah. If anyone in the chat has questions, I'd be glad to answer any as we go along. Um, where should we go from here? Nastal, do you want to pick? Um, I'd like to see the uh, Rude guitar. Yo, oh, I can do that. Let's grab that real quick. I saw, the, I saw the picture of that one. That one looks really cool. Right, R2? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, he's not up. <laughs> right, this is a mostly stock Wolfgang special overseas. Um, the neck for this came from the shark, and the body I picked up on eBay for a good amount. Uh, the bridge is black. 
I know the overseas specials had Chrome hardware, and that's why there's black hardware on the headstock because I switched the Chrome hardware onto another neck that you're going to see in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. um, I think the black hardware on this guitar looks great. I'm a big fan, but I'm going to say that every single I like, time. I like the pickup rings. The pickup rings yeah, look great. These are gold metallic pickup rings that are shiny and reflective. I feel like putting them on really made this guitar just be that much cooler. It makes it kind of look like the way Eddie's original Rude guitar is right now because he's got a pickup right, ring yeah, on. Yeah, that's why we did that. That's why we decided to put those on. I wasn't just going to put it on one of them. I have to put it on the neck pickup too. Mm -hmm. so. I originally had a chrome bridge on this. I think that chrome bridge ended up on the star. I think. Mm. Man, Which is a good place to go next. Okay. Cool. Is any, I'm going to make sure there's no questions first on this before we go. I'm Let's keeping go an eye out. There's nothing okay. going on in the, in the chat room at I the moment. I'm keeping everyone entertained. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you all think about it in the chat room? What do you think about these guitars so far? I think they're really cool. Yeah. Yeah. And also my camera's backwards. Do I look backwards? It is. No. It, it's yeah. It, it's reversed. I don't know why. Well, it's reversed for you, but not for me. I see everything the way it's supposed to be. Couch is over your right shoulder. You sure? You're right. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we're not talking about. We were talking about Johnny. I see. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So, this is my star Wolfgang. I think. Is just incredible. That thing looks amazing. The paint job <laughs> is a lot like the um, original Star and less like the replica mm -hmm. stripe series with the thinner stripes. And is this going to show up right or am I showing it back? No, it looks right. You bad too. No, no, the other way. That's it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's we insane. The stripes on this. We got white binding going around the top. On the sides and the top. Well, binding, it's just painted on above the real binding. Mm -hmm. This is also a flat top overseas special with a Wolfgang stealth neck from a Mexican Wolfgang. So it's got the big frets. It's a little bit chunkier in the back, but all the necks from everywhere just vary so much in regards to that. Like you could be getting anything back here, but it's still going to be comfortable no matter how it comes. And of course, I got. Black hardware on the headstock, chrome bridge, cream tipped pickup, and cream pickups. And man, this guitar just sounds great, feels great, looks great. Is that one of your favorite ones? Is that one of the ones you play like all the time? Yeah, this is one of the two that we just put together and, and I got in the last week or so, the last week and a half. So this has been getting a lot of play time. This has been sitting on the stand along with one other guitar and being played just about every day. Mm -hmm. uh, since they don't make Wolfgang pickups and cream, well, they do, but only the bridge from the uh, circles guitar, right? Yeah. But you can't get a neck Wolfgang pickup and cream as far as- So what is that? Is that painted or is that another pickup? No, these are completely different pickups. Uh, this is one of the Wolfgangs that has aftermarket pickups in it. These are 84 guitar, um, 84 guitar madness replica pickups that I found in Reverb. Uh, they're about $30 a set. I think they sound great. The 15 wow, replicas, those are the ones I have in the Shark. That's really inexpensive. That's great. Yeah. So it's, I say that it's inexpensive enough that it's worth giving them a shot. It's not so much you're just investing too much into it, only not to like them. I think it's worth giving them a shot. I don't think I've posted any clips with this one, but I have with the shark. I know there's at least one on my Instagram at Diamond Dave Lucy. I think it's a 38 special song. But I definitely can post more with both of these guitars soon, and I will. But I think we got a great choice putting the chrome, not the chrome, the cream, the cream tip switch and the cream tip pickups on this. Mm -hmm. It really feels like the original. I haven't decided if I was going to put a pickup rings on it or not yet. I don't think it needs it. Yeah, I would leave it as is. Yeah. You wouldn't touch that one. 
and I did I did ended up putting a rubber band around the bridge pickup only because the wrapping was a little loose and it didn't have any glue, so I might as well just use a rubber band. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that looks awesome, man. That's that's my favorite one, right there. This, yeah, <laughs> that one. I think yeah, I think it might be my favorite too. Man, we got the lines around the sides that go all the way around. It's as close as you can get to the star on a Wolfgang shape. We tried to design it. Um, I didn't really do much of the work on designing this paint job. As in, well, Eddie designed it, but we tried to make get it to fit onto the Wolfgang body shape. We just got about all the important parts that you'd find on the star without compressing it too much. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, Let's I mean you. you I mean you know what guitar? It's it's a it's a. Oh yeah. Off the hat there's no, yeah. There's no question about any of these. I think what they're really representing for us, at least here in the chat. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll be back in a second. Yeah, that's my favorite. In case anybody was wondering. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm backwards. Yeah, no, I, no, I, I am. I am. I can see it. What, what hand do you hold? What hand are you putting out? This is my right hand. Then you're not backwards. What? That's you're not backwards because I know it looks like your right hand. Well, it is. I... <laughs> <laughs> then you're not backwards. Jay, Jay's telling me I'm backwards, and I'm looking at the video, and normally the couch is on the other side. Really? Yeah. It's always on that side for no. me. If I grab if I grab a guitar, it'll be left handed. I guarantee you, on this side, it's not. Uh, I don't know. Either way, what's right. what's the next one? <laughs> well, well, let's guess. What what came after the after the star? What was his next guitar that he played? Well, we did we did skip one. We skipped two actually. Oh, uh oh. I got I got one of the two that we skipped, so it's a fifty fifty. Oh, the 50-50 guitar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the 50-50 guitar. That one. <laughs> Got to get one of those. <coughs> yeah. uh, he used a guitar like this, except with a stop tail bridge, kind of a stop tail bridge, on a TV show about 10 years ago. With the bridge he designed himself. I don't have oh, one of those. Okay. So this is just a Floyd. Uh, so it's a Frankenstein. Is my, this is my Frankenstein burritos guitar with a Floyd on it, PV Floyd. Here's a close-up. Man. And instead of doing a um, gloss finish, I mean, we did put a gloss on it, but instead of doing like a factory gloss finish, we just beat the hell out of this thing just a little bit. And you can even see up here, if you can see that this originally was a natural finish, mm -hmm. Wolfgang special. So when the paint just gets sanded off, you just see the natural flame and it's just beautiful. That's an arch top. This is yeah. This is a Mexican special, mm -hmm. through and through, neck and body in parts. And it's a really dirty neck. I really got to clean that. But I've been playing this a lot. This is the one of the guitars I used at a show that I did a week or two ago. I had a great time with this, and the crowd loved it. They knew what it was. It's close. It's close mm -hmm. enough that. Unless they were hardcore fans, and they 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 just recognized the paint job, I'm like oh, it's a Van Halen guitar. I pulled the Rasta out for that show. Oh, spoilers! I pulled the Rasta out for that show. I don't think anybody knew what it was. They just thought it was cool. Hmm. I had a lot, a lot of people come up to me and just say, I don't know what it was, but I really like that paint job. It looks like something. Looks like it looks Rasta is what they would say. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it does. If I'm talking about it so much, I might as well just go grab it. <laughs> yeah, I can just keep going. You, you got to you got to play some Bob Marley when when you're playing that one, right? Other Dave. Oh yeah, we got sure. two Daves in here now, so I don't know who I'm talking to. I know you can see my. Uh... <laughs> see, watch. I wish I mentioned. Am I interrupting? Huh? Oh <laughs> no, 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 I was just I was gonna grab a guitar to show you guys that I am left-handed. Well, your camera just switched on the stream now to the other side with the couch on the right instead of being on the left. Is it supposed to? Hmm. 
I don't I don't know. Yeah, I, all I see is your avatar now. Yeah. Something I failed to mention on the Frankenstrat wolf was that unlike the stripe series they which they didn't have binding or they just painted over the binding we left the cream binding on it i think it's just prettier that way i'm a fan and i didn't want it to be identical to the stripe series because i might as well just buy a stripe series at that point right right yeah yeah yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. this is nesdal's favorite guitar did not paint the headstock just left it natural mm -hmm. but man. yeah that's insane Wow. You got to say something, though. Nobody can see that. <laughs> oh, I got to keep talking? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you got to keep Rasta talking. Wolf gang. Wow. So we'll keep it focused on me. Um, it has cream binding, goes all the way around, as binding does. The back is mostly black. In the front, you can just see just about every other color equally. But it's just an incredible, incredible sounding guitar. Uh, for the performance that we had, I was going to do a one-off song with this. I was going to play uh, Little White Lie by Sammy Hagar in Open E. Mm -hmm. That's how I tuned this at the time. But the set list changed last minute outside of my control. I hate it when that happens, but sometimes you don't have control over everything. Uh, Man, that's cool. Beautiful. The on this is just, it's quarter song, but you can see it like it looks like flame as courtesan can sometimes mm -hmm. but, man i know it's it, it's it's hard to it's hard to believe that you actually have them right it's like wow yeah no you i, I still look like, at them all the time and i'm just like oh yeah i have that one mm -hmm. <laughs> and i'll see him on the internet and be like oh i need a guitar like that hmm. I have one <laughs> well yeah and dave says well i, don't I got, like having I got 12. Feeling. Yeah, I got the other Dave. Those. The other Dave. And see, yeah. am I left-handed, Dave? Right, yeah. Is there, no. Is there a backwards guitar back there? No, it's not backwards. No. It's going to be backwards. By okay. you looking at it, it'll it'll be backwards. I'm, I'm looking at it on the stream of my computer and on my phone. It's backwards on the stream, but it's not backwards for us. Oh, okay. I'm not looking at the stream. Let me see. Oh, say yeah, something, Johnny. It's it's back. Every, I've I've got four different. I'm looking at four different angles of this, and to me, it's all backwards. No, you're right. It's back. Yeah, it's backwards on the stream. Oh yeah, it is backwards on the stream. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that a, an old song? Backwards on the stream. Yeah. Well, don't look at it on the stream. Do you remember that one? I, no, I thought that was way upon a spawn, uh, Swanee River, way down no. upon a Swanee River. No. No. Now we're going to get in trouble. Is that a black you have back there in the background? Stop till. Yeah. Yeah, that's the uh, same one I turned the shark into. Oh, cool. Except mine's left-handed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My beard is Cole the other Mark, way around. Cole Mark, I think he'll have a use for that. <laughs> He's probably always looking for one of those. Yep. Man. Uh, there's two questions in the chat I probably should answer. Michael Collins asked, what inspired me to do all of these? It's a very good question. I spend a lot of time on Facebook on all the Van Halen groups, and I see all the pictures on Van Halen Instagram and everything like that. And I see all these people with their guitars, and just about everyone is just doing straight replica guitars instead of tribute things. Like, you you just see Frankenstrats and 5150s, and you'd see Wolfgang replicas, which... I love them all and they're great. And I just thought to myself, well, I play my Wolfgangs, the two Wolfgangs or three Wolfgangs I had when I decided to do this a lot more than the replica guitars that I had. I had a 5150, I had a Shark. Um, I still have a Frankenstrat. I don't know how long I'm going to keep that around, <laughs> but I have that somewhere off next to me without strings on it. Mm -hmm. um, and they're still great guitars and I love them, but just everyone has one of them. And I felt like I just wanted to do something different. I wanted to be different. I wanted to make more guitars like that, but I also wanted them to be guitars I would play all the time. So that's why I decided to take the Wolfgang line and turn those into things that I could just look at and love and share with the people that I care about and they can love them too. 
I think I think that's why I chose to do this tribute project because it's different. Like, how many Rasta Wolf Gangs have you seen, like ever? Never, I, none. I, I you're the only one. one. Yeah, and who knows? Someone else might do it in a week or so. I won't be mad, but <laughs> I might be a little bit mad. <laughs> Well, I got to get a different one that doesn't. No one else has. I think I got a few of those. It'll be Nesdal. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, it's not my bag. That is not my bag. I think it's cool to look at. I think it's cool that someone else uh, is doing it. Mm -hmm. Not something I'm interested in doing. Yeah, that's a respectable opinion. I mean, that's why there are so many different guitars out there. There's something for everybody. And if there isn't, you just go out there and make it for yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah and i'm the opposite of nesdal i think those guitars are totally cool and i would rather play those guitars than the ones that everybody else already has you know well i didn't say they're not cool and i didn't say i wouldn't play one but i just said i wouldn't i you said, wouldn't you said it wasn't make, your it wasn't your bag it's not my bag meaning it's not something i would collect i wouldn't i don't i wouldn't make the i wouldn't make those but if yeah. i was handed one to play i'd absolutely play it mm-hmm Yes, I mean you know what you're getting. <laughs> you know what it's going to sound like, probably. Yeah. yeah. You know how it's going to feel. It's you know not it. It's just not something that I would build. But they're cool. They're super cool. If I'm if I'm thinking about it, the one of the kind one of a kind Wolfgangs that I have definitely the Rasta. Pretty sure I haven't seen another Rude out there. No stars. Um, I seen a few 2013s, which is cool. Uh, I saw one other shark ever. Is that it? I must I must be missing something. Where'd you see the shark? Um, I can't remember if somebody made it, but it, you're probably familiar with the picture. It's from a picture like of this angle, looking down when it's sitting in the case. Mm hmm. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Oh, dead air. We don't like dead air. No, 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 no. It's cool. <laughs> Podcast. Podcast. It happens. Mark I'm Taylor says he's going to make a Rasta shark. A Rasta Ooh. shark. A, yeah, that, he's going to he's going to paint a real great white shark. The Rasta. Is that a Rasta finish on a shark guitar or on a shark like animal? Or <laughs> I think yeah, he's going to paint a shark on an animal. explorer. A shark explorer with a rust finish. I'd like to see that. That would be sick. That'd be really cool. Uh, Michael Smith also asked, what is my best sounding guitar? And that is a really hard question. It's hard to say what the best sounding is because only four or five of them are straight stock and have all the same parts. The ones that are customized, they do what they're customized to do better than any of the other ones do. That's why I customize them. Uh, the 59 Tribute Pickup Shark, it's the best for that kind of thing. It's the stop tail. It sounds like one. It's the best for that kind of thing. Uh, out of all the other guitars, man, it's, it's really hard to pick one because they all sound great. I don't feel like any of them are duds. I mean, they were at one point, but I've been working on them. They're all <laughs> great quality stuff. I'm gonna grab another one. Real quick. Duds. Let's see, what, let's see what we got. <laughs> Man, no, I, I, th I think it's totally cool that those guitars. That, you, you never see that stuff. Exactly, they're very cool. You know, and I myself, I'd rather play something like that than than uh, something that looked identical to something that Eddie actually plays. What's that? Coming from a guy that has a 5150 guitar and a 1984 guitar and whatever else guitar. Uh -huh. but, but we the, might, the, I might be doing um, a 5150. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about it. A 5150 Wolfgang. You should. Well, actually, yeah, that, that actually, sounds like it should be the next thing. There's a 50-50 chance? That might be, <laughs> <laughs> might be more interesting than that. Is instead of Because right now I'm currently thinking about selling this guitar. Um, it's not that I, it's bad. It's just, I'm not a single coil kind of person. I thought I would put it together to have, and I'm, my phone's shutting down. No. Uh-oh. No. no. Just remember the link. 
Hey, Paul Glover. <laughs> We're having all kinds of technical fun tonight. Yeah. His, his, his iPhones keep shutting down. Dave's robot keeps going off. My, uh, I'm backwards. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh huh. Mm hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. Dave, are you still there? No, Dave's not here. He says he'll be right back. Okay. He's uh, he's in the chat and he, well, he was in the chat and said he'd be right back. I'll be back. Oh, I see that. I'll be Foobar back. Friday, John. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Dave Lucy's guitars are pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah. He he sent me pictures of them. I guess every time he did one. He would send me a picture and show it to me. And uh I just feel like, wow, that looks that looks that looks amazing. Yeah. Those they finishes. All... I mean, especially that 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 star. You know? Oh, there yeah. he goes. He just dropped out. I saw that. Or he's back. Yep. There he is. I apologize for that. Don't don't worry about it. It happens. Hangouts just drains your battery. <laughs> so quickly and i didn't charge it up before the show oh but, uh, yeah i'm concerned yeah. now it's going to overheat now that it's plugged in and streaming on hangouts <laughs> well actually we stopped using hangouts um uh, now i know why <laughs> oh because i'm backwards and we can't have that no we can't can't have you backwards. As I was saying before I left, <coughs> this is, if I'm getting rid of one of them, it's probably going to be this one. And it's not that I don't like single coils. Actually, it is that I don't like single coils. Oh, I love single coils. I'm well, yeah, I mean. Single coil guys out there. I'm a humbucker guy. I make my humbuckers work. I split them if I have to. But this is the one of the ones that has an Indonesian neck on it. Uh, waist sensor hot gold pickups, which aren't exactly the most single coily of single coils and more like humbuckers. Uh -huh. What made you decide to put those pickups in? I couldn't commit to the single coil idea. <laughs> That's why I I wanted something familiar, but a little bit different. Uh huh. And that's what we ended up doing. Now, we what body is that? Switch. Is that a John Storm body? A, it's a Chris Lock body. Oh, okay. Chris Lock built this for me uh, to the PV spec. Has everything a PV body would have, a PV special that is mm -hmm. non deluxe. So it's got the rounded edges on everything. Um, and if I don't sell this one, which I was about the list probably tomorrow, if I don't sell this, instead of doing a 5150 Wolfgang next, we might actually do like a Kramer Neptune and route this one out a little bit, a little bit more. Mm because it already has the little bit of the route in it. And that'd be different. At least I'm thinking it's the Neptune, the one with the big blotch, black spots on it. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool to do on this. So that might be in the works. Wow. And quite well, I would, yeah. I would leave it as is. I think that's, that's probably, I mean, if you're doing any recording, that guitar is different than any of the other ones you have. You, it's always great to to have some layered guitars, something different, uh, you know, on whatever recordings you're doing. That's just my two cents. Right. And I do have non-Wolfgang guitars also somewhere around here. I got a handful. Um, somebody said in chat, Johnny should tell me to make a pound cake drill. <laughs> Same drill. Got on eBay for like twenty bucks. Painted it myself. Cool. Did a really sloppy job, if I'm being honest. It took about an hour and a half. I was trying to do many other things that night, but it works. It works. It's good. Mm -hmm. Do you use that when you play pound cake? I do. Mm -hmm. Which it which guitar do you pitch. which guitar do you use? Like, do you have certain? Do you have certain guitars that you use for certain certain songs that you that you uh, that you play? 
yes, I think so. Um, some of the Wolfgangs I have down to to uh, half step below pitch. Um, I think the B I keep like that. The two are relic I keep like that most of the time. I'm probably going to end up putting the star half pitch down. Um, I used to have a Axis EX that I traded to a buddy of mine. Mm -hmm. I used that for all the uh, Music Man stuff. Um, about a week or two from now, I'll have... I don't want to say two of those, but one of those and maybe a baritone, and they may or may not be attached to each other. You guys will have to see. You guys in the call have already seen this guitar and seen the pictures and knows what it looks like. And I can't remember if you know what it sounds like or not, but it's going to be great. I'm so I got to come back and showcase that when that's here. Yeah. If that's going to be a crowd pleaser for sure. <laughs> You'll have to sit further I'm, back I'm really for that, that one. That. Like, yeah, I'm going to have to sit a lot further back to get that one on the screen. Is that going to be purple? <laughs> yep. Yep. I'll, I'll send you a picture after the stream. But we already finished the staining and everything. It's just getting wired up now. Cool. Very cool. Yeah. I forgot. I have three left, and I forgot one of them we were going through the Stripe series. I'll be back. Oh, man. You ever forgot guitars that you have? Yes. <laughs> yep. I, you know, just recently, too, I have... Uh, I have a uh, a Carvin Marty Freeman thing, mm -hmm. you know, or the Craig Chiquiso guitar. Chiquiso, whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, it's in storage. I, and just recently, I had to move from one storage space to another, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I forgot I had this guitar in the case, and it's like almost as big as the storage room." What's that? Wow. Uh, it's a Carvin, uh, I don't know the name of the Carvin, but uh, you know Craig Ch Chiquiso from uh, Starship, from Jefferson Starship? That yeah. funny-looking Carvin-looking guitar? Marty Friedman used it as well. Okay, yeah. I have one of those. What, why do you keep it in storage? Because I don't want it in the house. It's just, you know, it, it's my house would probably implode because it's so heavy. It's about 40 pounds. Uh, Michael Collins said in chat, I want that PV Dave Lucy. I'm not sure which PV you're talking about. I think I think it was the triple the the um not the triple the the uh the single coil. the single coil guitar, yeah. Message me on Instagram at Diamond Dave Lucy. We'll talk it out. I'm not against it. I'd love for it to go to somebody who's gonna care for it more than I am. <laughs> And again, it's not that I don't care for it. It's just not my kind of thing like I thought it could be. It's one of the other ones with the Indonesian necks on it. Um, Chinese special or Japanese special otherwise. That looks great. That looks great, that, that looks great with the, uh, with the um, zebra pickups in it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is one of the ones, or maybe the only one, that I might actually be redoing so I can keep the cream binding on it because I painted over the cream binding the first time and I feel like it'll look better without it because we did a mock-up of all these and with cream binding on the B it just looked incredible. you think it wouldn't go right with the black and the yellow, but man, it did. Hmm. So we might do that, just repaint the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Well, the pickup's cream. Yeah, the pickup's are cream. So that, I, th I think cream binding, binding yeah. would, I think that would look good. Yeah, and it's got a black void like the original wink wink that's probably gonna upset that's probably gonna upset at least one person i remember being or watching a very lengthy debate whether the original floyd on the b was rusted and unfinished or black yeah good times i, I saw that i yeah, saw good that good times good times Yes. Uh, sorry, I can't see who who said that. Is it Blackie DH? Yeah, Blackie DH. Yeah, yeah. We're we're playing around with uh with uh, having the chat box on the video and and uh, you know the logo and all that stuff. 
Although it makes the screen much smaller. So I keep telling everybody they got to sit back a little bit. Sit back. Because at one point, Dave's head, you can only see like this, like much of it. Which part, which Dave? Yeah, so probably you. This part. Like, me? I'm talking yeah. Right now. Oh, well, why didn't you tell me to move back? <laughs> <laughs> the Johnny Bean was was a uh, blocky in your uh, face. Oh, well, that's not such a bad thing. <laughs> Clayton yeah. James Hicks asked if I uh, use a PS6 harmonizer pedal. Um, I do not. I have an even tied pitch factor that I use for all my pitch shifting and harmonizations that I put in front of my time factor, which are currently the only two pedals in my loop, my effects loop, other than my ISB decimator to get rid of the just background noise that the stealth puts out. Mm -hmm. um, can't really, can't go wrong with the even tides at all. They're a bit pricier than the other ones. And then unless you're trying to go all out and have basically everything they can do at your disposal. If you're just trying to get one or two different sounds, probably better off getting a smaller specialized pedal for that. Mm -hmm. You can do everything. And it's going to set you back three to 400 a piece. Dang. Not fun. <laughs> Not wow. fun. Yeah, but once you have them, you got them. Once you have them, you got them. Exactly. Yeah. Like a lot of the stuff you just build over time. It seems mm -hmm. ludicrous to get out. If you go, if I went into the store and bought all this stuff today, man, I don't even want to know. I hate thinking about it. I can't think about that. It makes me sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, our friend Jim Nicholas sent a message. He says, hey, now, beautiful guitars. Love the paint schemes. Is that the right word? Scheme. Scheme. Is that it? Schemes, yeah. Uh, on those. Um, sorry, I missed. Okay. Well, I'm not going to read that, but. He's talking about last night, last night's video, <laughs> oh. <laughs> which I think we all want to forget, but it's, it's still there. And I, I blurred out the part where I accidentally showed everybody's email addresses, <laughs> so you, you can't see them now. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's like someone, <laughs> someone. Uh, I had to, I had to. Uh, I saw that. I had to I delete, delete it on here. Yeah. Although, although you had I'm those those it. you had those emails actually printed on your guitar picks at one point though, didn't you? That email address. Uh, yeah, but you, you can't did. see them anywhere. Huh? Can't see that anywhere. I mean, you put yours on your guitar picks, right, Johnny? I have one of your picks floating around somewhere. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I put my um my website. The website, not not yeah. an email address. Oh, okay. <laughs> D uh, Nesdal has Very has similar. Nesdal has pics with his with his his uh, email address on them, and so if they get lost, they can get they can be returned. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I should put, maybe I should get pics with my home address on them. You should get pics with stamps attached to them. <laughs> <laughs> if found, I should get, that's right, I should get pics made of envelopes. <laughs> So they can send themselves yeah, pics made of envelopes and stamps. Yeah, that'd be funny. You can ship them through the mail, ship them through the post envelope potato. That would be funny. Make guitar picks with, with actual stamps on them, and then throw them out to the crowd and say, "If found, you know, just put in mailbox." And you start getting them back. Or is that just a stupid idea? A good um, <laughs> example when I'm thinking about it of the harmonizer and my time factor and my loop. Is I think it's my third most recent Instagram post in the Boston Hitch a Ride solo. And when Tom Schultz recorded that in the studio, there were multiple parts where he flips between having delay and a chorus on and then having them off and just playing dry into the amp. Mm -hmm. So I do that by just turning my effects loop off, running it only to one cab instead of all three. And you can hear that in the video. I did flub one part of that solo. You can probably tell when it is, but <laughs> it's one of my favorites. A little difficult for me, but oh, it's all good. Good time. Yeah. Let me I see. Got, I'm, I got I'm, two I'm more. I think. I'm checking out your Instagram right now. Oh, cool! Oh, th th thanks for the uh, 
what do you call it? Regram. Repost. I'm repost. Regram. Regram. <laughs> Thanks for that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you guys want to follow Dave on uh, Instagram, it's Diamond Dave Lucy. And yeah, you've got a lot of videos of you uh, playing those guitars. Yeah. And if uh, you're curious and you want to mess with me on Instagram and want to know what effects I'm using for what and what I've recorded what with, I'd be sure to let you know and tell you what my presets are the best I can. Because even I forget after a while when they've been programmed in a while. <laughs> hey, show me. Uh, somebody said in chat they want you to present me. So can you do that so they can see without having me talk? If I can hold up one of the guitars. Uh, you able to do that still? Can, can I do that? We can try it. Where are you? On. Let me see. We can try it. We, uh, see? Starting to show stuff now. Present. Let's see uh, Let's see what happens. All right. I'm going to grab one. All right. There you are. Grabbing one. See? Well, so we present him and then he leaves. Yeah, he's gone. So we can't, gone. Even, so we can't, you can't. You guys can't even see us. <laughs> I just see a guitar and a chair. Oh, there he is. You got a guitar behind you. Yeah, we're just going to present an empty chair. All right. This is my stealth. It's a stealth. There's really not much more to say about it. Everyone here knows what a stealth is, knows what it looks like, knows how it plays. Uh, scored an incredible deal on this. I won't go into details, but put a... Uh, Chrome EV8 foot on it that I took from one of the cream specials that I got. Mm -hmm. um, I was going to rotate it around. The show was inside the cavity, but I covered it up. It's got titanium insert blocks on the bridge um, and a titanium brass or <laughs> titanium brass block, just a titanium big block on the back. It really doesn't need it. It's USA stealth, but. Uh, because it already had on, it, I had it already on this chrome bridge. I figured I might as well just throw it into this guitar and do. So this is my hot rod with all the upgrades I can think of to the bridge and everything. Nice. Just doesn't have a kill switch in it yet. Not sure if I would go in to put one in it. Not sure if I might keep this guitar that much longer. Kind of lusting after one of the red satin wolves now oh dude you can't get rid of a usa one for for not for an special. easy trade but i don't know if that's a good idea you think so i just don't think so that's just me personally you want to get rid of a usa for another usa one thing i mean you do what you want to do but uh... i mean i can get two specials maybe three with this uh, it, it is the yeah, uh, again do what you want to do but I, I think that's that's not the right move but i can't remember what it was exactly but it's the 21 or the 2011 excuse me 2011 finish where they had the original stealth finish on it before they changed mm -hmm. to what they've been using now yeah it's fairly rare i don't remember how many of them were made exactly but the well, it's the only year. Finish. It's a rougher finish, too. Yeah, it's a rougher finish. It looks and feels more like an orange peel than it does like the specials, which is just kind of like a smooth, non-reflective matte. That mm -hmm. This one, you can rub your fingers all over this. It doesn't get oily. It doesn't get greasy. can't see it when you put your hands on it. Like on the two special stealths that I had, which is how I ended up with so many special necks. They just got painted. Uh, mm -hmm. we'll see I really like the headstock binding I didn't remember they had them until I got one on with it just looks great it's really just there for looks I mean and something else I didn't know about the USA Wolfgangs is that the dots on the fretboards are pearlite instead of just white plastic mm -hmm. I actually, I have my one of my stealth necks has white pearloid 
in it. The other two have plastic. I don't know why. Maybe they're just fake for a white, but who knows? <laughs> cool. Because historically, uh, EVH vendor, they've been experimenting a little bit, and you might find something a little bit different on one of the guitars out of the factory than some of the others. Mm -hmm. And it's always fun when you find those. It's always fun. Nice. What else you got? I got one more, I think, unless I'm missing anything. I know this is going to be a favorite. You guys have probably seen this one about two years ago. Did he leave again? He left again. <laughs> I thought he would have all these on stands behind him or something. <laughs> this is, it's, he's, kind of, he's turning into David Allen Wright a little bit, I think. Another David. Man, so many, we, we know so many Davids. Look at that one. Wow. Yeah. You guys know what this is. You guys have seen these before. It's like everybody has one of these now. <laughs> I don't have one of those. Almost everybody. Almost I don't know. Everybody I don't has know. one of these. <laughs> That's what it feels like to me, at least. And on the back, I just keep scraping away more of this with my belt whenever I wear belts <laughs> playing this guitar. I just keep scraping off the white finish. But um, this is not a USA. This is a special that is actually a Mexican stealth body that we put a, we did the uh, vintage white cream finish on it. And then we sprayed it with a crap ton of clear coat. And then that's why the uh, black is not very stealthy. It's more glossy and reflective as if it was a gloss finish. Mm hmm. Oh, I, I saw. Yeah, you could see it. I saw it. Yeah. And we got the little chip marks. Not as thorough as the um, what you can do when one comes from the factory with the cream finish on it, because the clear coat we put on only went so thick without overdoing it. But I've shown people this guitar, and they who have um, not seen the tour, not they didn't go to the tour, they don't know much of the Van Halen stuff. They just think it's a piece of junk. Like, why haven't you painted, why haven't you repainted this one yet? It's all busted up and scratched up and everything. And I'm like, oh, you silly child. <laughs> 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 I don't quite say that to them. I just think that. Like, oh, you silly child, you young one. You will, you will know one day how cool this is. <laughs> and who knows, next year he's probably gonna have something different. And we're going to see a few of those out. But uh, mm -hmm. if you're curious how I got the pearl stickers or the pearl blocks on the fretboard, it's just because they're stickers. And this is where the chrome headstock hardware ended up. Awesome. And the kill switch, of course. Oh, yeah. You get the uh, Tezzy switch. Highly recommend. And Very I did cool. end up putting a... Um, 1984 Floyd Rose on it with the brass fine tuner. Mm -hmm. I had a the original bridge I had on it was the titanium upgraded bridge that's now on the still. I took this from my Frankenstrat. Mm -hmm. I feel like the brass goes great with the uh, cream finish and the cream pickups. It's just different, just a little bit. Very cool. That's cool. So is that is that uh, is that one of your main main guitars? I'd say so. I'd say so. This one gets a lot of play time. It probably sounds up there with the Stealth. Mm -hmm. I think the Stealth is probably the best sounding one, but not by far, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, the, just about all the Wolfgang guitars that I picked up, they sound better now than they did when I got them. Right. Did you put the blocks on, on that neck, or did that neck, come yeah. like that for you? I put the box on here. Yeah. And after a while, they start peeling up. So I'm going to have to probably reapply them in a couple months. Well, when you reapply them, you should, if if you want, I can give you the dimensions of the real ones and you yeah, can make them the correct size. Yeah, I didn't cut them on this one. I wasn't really thinking that at the time. But um, yeah, I'd appreciate that next time when I do that. 
I will definitely let you know. So. I can't clap. Stop looking at it. It's just mm -hmm. fun. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. very, it's very cool. Yeah. Yeah. And if you guys want one like this, it's really just pick up a Mexican style, paint it white. Actually, you got to tape off the black parts you want, paint it white, take the tape off, clear coat it with a bunch of gloss, put some stickers on the fretboard, put chrome hardware on it, put a kill switch in it, and you're done. Just about. Sounds like a lot of work, but you can definitely do that and not spend ten, twelve thousand dollars on the official one. <laughs> and trust me, you're going to learn a lot along the way. Mm -hmm. But that's how I've done all of this stuff so far. Just have friends help me along the way when I need it and do everything else when I can. And I'm almost able to do everything by myself at this point. That's cool. Yeah. But if you're too afraid to mess with one of your guitars, start slow, do some tweaks to it. It's a skill that you're going to be glad that you have once you have it instead of paying a tech. And of course, we need techs. Techs are very important people. But I can't emphasize how important it is to be able to do your own tech work. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. If you can fix your own, fix your, you know, tear apart your own guitars and put them back together. And yeah, that's uh... just about all of these have been torn apart and put back together at least once in their lifetimes. Mm hmm. Am I still being presented? Okay, we're good. Yep. <laughs> huh? Not anymore. I was just checking. Do you have one more guitar? No, I was checking if I was being presented on the thing still. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't think, I think that's all the Wolfgangs. I think that was all 10 of them. Good was stuff. It? Was that 10? Yeah, we went by pretty quick. I think it was 10. Hey, Dutchie. Dutchie, you missed it. <laughs> I'm on the last guitar out of 10, and I just finished talking. <laughs> Might as well start over. What was the first one? <laughs> we had the Shark, the 2013. I'm not going to go in order because that's just going to make things harder. We got the B. We got the Star. We got the Rasta. We got the Rude, the Stealth the single coil the tour relic and the red black and white frankie that's all 10. that's right that's awesome and jared is saying in chat hey dave lucy i know you have some of my old guitars um uh, very true uh I, the rasta was his tobacco finish guitar that now the body turned into the rasta the headstock on that turned into the red, black, and white Wolfgang. That is the painted matching headstock. So that's where that is now. Nice. Yeah. Jared's a great guy. Good friend. Mm -hmm. And happy birthday to Addie. Five years old. Pris's daughter. Happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Addie. Is that's all the cakes? Is yes. That, that... It's a lot of cake. I thought I thought it was it was cake time. <laughs> cake and milk, milk and cake and cookies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jared. Oh, uh, there's one more thing I can showcase before we wrap this up. He's Wrapping a, this up. What? He, he has a bass. <laughs> he has a guitar that's not a Wolfgang. Yeah, no. Dave, you're you're right. I uh, you know, you, you got to have different different guitars. You can't you can't have a bunch of the exact same thing. Although, don't tell him that. Oh, he's back. Yes. Yeah, cake is good. Cake is good. <laughs> this is my six and twelve string. Oh, oh, oh. and I dropped the phone again. See, so that's heavy. What happens when I get on this <laughs> headphone cord, it just falls. Uh, the reason why I'm breaking this one out is because I've always felt this looks more like a Wolfgang body than it does the Arnie Ball music fan. 
probably just because it's elongated. But hmm. What I'm going to be doing with this is that I'm going to strip the whole body bare and we're going to turn it into the Kramer black and yellow double neck that Eddie used on the Diver Down Tour. Hmm. So that's wow. going to be consistent with the rest of the Wolfgang collection. That sounds so good. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to getting started on that and seeing where that goes. It's, it's just different and it's cool. It's fun. Yeah. It's fun. Uh, this is not the double neck that I'll have a week or two from now. This is not the double neck you're looking for? Yeah, this is not the double neck you're looking for. This is not the baritone <laughs> special secret, not so secret thing. That's been in progress for a long time now. Mm -hmm. But we'll get to see that soon. It's going to be worth it. Awesome, man. So, uh, what, I just missed it. I'm glad to have been invited on to showcase all these things and talk to y'all again. Yeah. Thanks for joining Thank us. Everybody here. And Jared is saying, this guitar looks insane. Yeah, it does. Uh, this is the uh, OLP, OLP MM612. Uh, one of the cheaper guitars in my collection, believe it or not. And for the quality of this thing, it's great. I mean, I can't complain about any of it. But they made these for a few years in the early 2000s, I think. Um, at the time, I think people were picking them up for $400, $500. Mm-hmm. It's mm -hmm. crazy. I, I remember when those were brand new. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't feel like a four or $500 guitar, in my opinion. It's certainly a little heavy for one. Yeah, those things are heavy. I remember selling those. It feels like two uh, two fifty dollar guitars. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. Yeah. Wait a second. Huh? What? Oh, thumbs up. Oh. Thumbs up. Ziki, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but um, just saying that he recommends that I paint this purple like the one Eddie played on the Live Without a Net video. Um, you, I believe you're referring to the Live right here right now, but I know what you're talking about, and I will have one of those soon. Just wait. That's not what we're doing with this guitar. This guitar is going to be the Kramer black and yellow. The purple one's going to be something else entirely. Yeah, and I can't. I can't wait to share that and have that and sleep with it and hold it all day wherever I go and everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, R two didn't didn't like that. Oh, man! Speaking of, uh, <laughs> it was Bruce, right? Mm. Bruce was it? Is, this, is that Bruce? I think it was Bruce. Since I jumped over to Instagram. I was looking at Dave Lucy's Instagram. I just happened to see uh, Bruce's Instagram in the in the stream, and he was putting up a bunch of uh, Star Wars uh, ornaments. Yeah, on his tree. Uh huh. So that seems like a popular thing. It is. Oh, there goes that. That guitar is gonna gonna fall. <laughs> and. What do you think, R2? So so what is that? Is that a, a remote control? Uh... Yeah. Yeah. It, it has everything, the third leg and everything. You can't say that. You can't. It doesn't have the same third leg that 3PO has. <laughs> and... <laughs> and the red arm. <laughs> Please don't strip and huh? mutilate that guitar. Show me a sign. It's temporary. If I strip and mutilate it, it'll just get a new coat of paint and get the photo flame finish just ripped off. I don't think it's a photo. I think it's just a very thin veneer. Yeah, it's a very, it's actually a very thin, yeah, you're right. It's a very thin veneer that um, is basically just like a sheet. 
it's that thin it just kind of peels off like a sheet mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. so i'm not sure if i'm going to leave that on because by the time we just sand that off to where we'll paint on it it might as well just take it off we'll see mm. it's not very thick at all John BL, the R2D2 is not vintage. I actually just got it as a gift today. And uh, this is it. And it's, uh, it's, hang on a second. It actually does a whole bunch of things. Hang on. I think he's, he's telling you to put him down, I think. He <laughs> doesn't want to. R2, say something. And, uh, I saw the new Star it's Wars the third leg. somebody asked. They said they were disappointed. I was not disappointed. I enjoyed it very thoroughly. No spoilers, but I enjoyed it. It's very polarizing, I found. You either really enjoy it or you don't. There's very little in between for this movie. And nobody hates Star Wars more than Star Wars fans. I'll tell you that. So. Whoa. What was that? <laughs> What, do, what was what? <laughs> is that R2? Is that like a Furby? Where it just wakes up and just starts saying stuff? No. What, what makes you say that? <laughs> oh, you you got to push its buttons? No, it's an app on the phone. Oh. The, app, the app on the phone controls what the, what the unit does. <laughs> you said unit. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, you're, you're terrifying, Snickers. <coughs> are you chasing snackers? Are you, are you are you chasing chasing Snickers around with that? I did for a little while today. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, you're in the dark. Me? Yeah. I'm always in the dark around here, man. Yeah. What the, What do you know? And yes, I agree with Baziki about the photo flame finish or photo flame finish being awful. Uh, the gold one, yeah, it's a pretty bad orange. And these are on the old uh, OLPs, the ones with the wood roses and the ones non wood rose. Uh, the Sterling models, yeah, they do. They are a lot better. They sound better and they feel better. But the OLPs are a great base to build from and starting out point if you're looking to modify it and reshape the neck if you even do that. Mm hmm Hmm. I mean, for 150 bucks, 100 bucks for one of the old OLPs, non-double necks, it's a fun toy to mess with. Mm -hmm. The Sterling guitars are great for the money. I've had a few of those over the years. Mm hmm Yeah, our friend uh, Hefner. And I will in the future. Jeremy yeah. Hefner, he, he's a huge fan of those. He's always always talking about those guitars and yeah, he, and he has he has uh, he's Paul always Unkard put Floyd's on him. Oh really? Yeah, Paul's put Floyd's on him for him. And he's also I looking for, for certain colors too. I think. Yeah, I have a hard time finding them nowadays. Because they only make two colors now in the D series. And last I checked, you can't buy even a or any ball music band access anywhere. At least a few months ago when I was checking. Well, you can buy them new, uh, uh, Ernie Ball Axis. You can get, yeah. you can get. They they still make them in in uh, in what they call gold, which is like a yellow, nasty yellow. It's not the same color as the old Eddie Van Halen's. No. Yeah. They're they're just not really. I mean, there was a period for a few months where I was just kind of browsing for fun. And all the websites like Sam Ash, Musician's Friend, Guitar Center, um, everything you name it, didn't have any of them in stock, and didn't expect to have any of them in stock. Well, I think they're all they're all special order. I think you have to they're yeah. they're built to order. That's a shame. Just like the just like the USA Wolfgangs, they're all yeah. built to order. Hmm. Hey, Bazik says uh, Joe Wentz was. Uh, Demoing one of the cheapo Sterling sub Music Man models last week. Sounded and looked great, he says. 
That's cool. Yeah, yeah, I think he he he, uh, he has one. Maybe. Yeah, I think he has a red one, right? I uh, maybe maybe. I, I was talking to him this morning, actually. We we uh, we talked for a little bit. Mm-hmm. I haven't talked to him in a while. I should reach out, see what he's been up to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. He he's uh he's uh recording a bunch of uh, I think he's releasing like uh, an EP or or something. All uh, I think on on iTunes. Jared says, uh, buy them pre-owned and set them up. As long as the wood is in good shape, that's what I would do with Jared. Jared is saying. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah. So are you guys good? I'm good. I mean, it's, it's been an hour. Yeah, it's been. Uh, what, what's it been? Yeah. Hour and a half. An hour and a half. Dang! Already? Yeah, hour hour <laughs> seventeen according to the stream. Man. <laughs> cool. Well, hey, Dave. Good to, good to see you. I'll just talk to both yeah, of you at the same time. Dave's yeah, Dave, Dave squared. Dave's Dave squared, great to see. Yeah. Great to see you guys. And awesome, you awesome guitars you guys have. Thanks. Although nice I kind of I. I kind of like Dave's, you know. I like that that Star Wolfgang. That's that's really cool, you're trying, man. You trying to tell me something? Yeah. That's that's awesome, man. Congratulations, happy birthday, merry uh, merry holidays, man. Yeah, merry holidays. <laughs> yeah, Dutchy, Douglas, John, B. L., Ben. Everybody that's in here, Bozik, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. This is a, a podcast as well. Podcast. And that's R2D2, if you're wondering, if you're listening. Yes, R2 <laughs> has helped out. Yeah. May the force be with all of you. And also with you. <laughs> <laughs> How do I get to my music? All right, take care, guys. All right. See you later, Dave. Here we go. This is Johnny Bean, Johnny.com. See you later.